Hi there, and welcome to the Fish Tank Barn. After I put out last week's video, talking about five of my favorite fish for a 29 gallon tank, one of my frequent commenters asked, what are my five favorite fish that I'm currently keeping in the fish room at the moment? So to answer his question, let's dive into the fish barn and I'll talk about my five favorite fish that I'm keeping right now in the fish barn. When I thought about how to answer this question, I was really drawn to two aspects. One being, what fish right now am I really excited about on a day in and day out basis? And secondly, what fish has really been actively breeding for me that has really produced nice colonies for me? I will have to admit that there is a little bit of a recency bias in this list, since there are some fish that I've purchased over the past year that I'm pretty excited about. So let's get started with the list. I picked up these volcano handlers about a month ago at the Greater Detroit Aquarium Society auction and I was really happy to get them. Like I said when I purchased them, I'm not a huge endler fan, but these fish really stole my heart with their bright red coloration. These fish have settled in nicely and have even started dropping some fry. I'm really excited to see this colony grow out and continue to develop in this 20 gallon tank. And as you could imagine, I'm extremely happy to already have some fry from these fish. So moving from my most recent addition to one of my oldest, let's talk about these Emeka Splendens. But this is probably the longest running live bear colony that I have in my fish room, dating back to 2019. Along with that, these fish are from one of the oldest Gadad collections in the hobby, dating back to Robert Rush Miller in 1966. I recently moved these fish to a 75 gallon tank and they've been thriving in their new environment. These fish have always been very good breeders for me. I've really enjoyed having them. In fact, this is my best breeding good ad colony. And I frequently bring these fish to auctions and swaps and give them out to fellow hobbyists. Cyprochromus have always been one of my favorite fish in the aquarium hobby. And if I were to pick an all time favorite fish in the fish room, then these Cyprochromus blue flash would be tops on the list. But since we're doing my favorite fish at the moment, I'm gonna go with a different group of Cyprochromus, the Cyprochromus leptosoma neon blue and pib white. I recently picked these fish up at the same Greater Detroit Aquarium Society auction where I purchased the volcano endlers that we spoke about earlier in the video. While these fish were skittish when first introduced, these fish have now settled in quite nicely and the males have started to show a bit of color. While I do think it will be a few months before we see some fry, I'm really excited to have this new group of Cyprochromus in my fish room and I'm really looking forward to getting a colony going, very similar to my Cyprochromus blue flash group that we saw earlier. These Xenophallus umbertillus are another fish that I was finally able to breed recently. I've had them in the past, but for some reason, I was really never able to get them to breed for me. Back last October, I was able to find these fish again at a local club meeting, and these fish started breeding for me about a month or so after I got them. Native to Costa Rica, this is a very underrated little nano live bear that I think is quite beautiful with its awesome yellow coloration. This would be a fish that I would recommend to anyone looking to set up a nano live bear tank. I just think these fish are absolutely stunning. I was very happy to be able to submit this fish for BAP recently at my local club. And I'm really looking forward to continuing to grow this colony more into the future. These marbled sword tails were another fish that I absolutely fell in love with at an aquarium auction. This time it was the Southwest Michigan Aquarium Society auction last October. I was able to start with a colony of 13 of these fish and these fish have really grown out quite nicely. The males have started to develop and they're absolutely massive, which is something I'm pretty excited about. These really do have a varied coloration that are really just robust fish. I've only seen one fry from these fish so far, but hopefully we'll see more in the future. I was excited when I was able to purchase these fish and have continued to be excited about these fish ever since the colony has continued to develop. I've really enjoyed having these fish in my care and I'm really excited to see this colony continue to develop in the future. Right now, this is my favorite sore tail group living in the fish room. I hope that you enjoyed taking a look at my five favorite fish at the moment. I really had a lot of fun thinking about and selecting which ones were my favorites. So thank you very much to the person who commented on last week's video to give me the idea. At the end of the video here, I'll go ahead and put up a card on my last fish room tour and go ahead and let me know in the comments section which fish you think are your five favorites. So with that, stay safe, stay fishy, and I'll catch you on the next video.